This exercise is called Swiss ball crunches, and we're doing it with our feet anchored. This allows us to make the exercise a bit harder. It makes it more difficult on your abs because you can have more of your back off of the ball without falling over. Now I'm going to show you how to do this properly because a lot of people turn crunches into really big range of motion sit-ups and that's not what we want. So here you can see I have a minimal range of motion. I'm only going from slight extension to slight flexion. I don't have a huge range of motion here and I'm just contracting the abs as hard as I can. I'm not just flailing up like that and doing a bunch of uh, sit-ups, that's not quite as effective. The main reason why it's not that effective is because you're going too fast, you don't have a lot of time under tension on the abs, you're getting a break at the top, and a lot of research shows that we don't need a repetitive, big range of motion spinal flexion. That can actually uh, cause injury in the long run. So keep the range of motion minimal, and keep tension on the abs on the way up and the way down. Just really squeeze throughout the whole range of motion.